I have something to tell you about my own story here. Oh, yeah, in my own house. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> I started the construction of this house years and years ago. <laughs> Took a little turn there in the middle that I didn't expect, but uh, we're there almost. And, um, and the house is now livable and entertainable, which is good. When I started building this house, I did put a lot of thought into it. I wasn't as, uh, I didn't have as much experience in designing homes eight years ago when I was working on the design um, as I do now. But I put a lot of thought into it, because I had eight years to think about it. And here are some of the concepts that I dug into and thought about before I started building this house, which is, of course, very different than what you might see in a spec house. So I wanted the front of the house to respect the surrounding neighborhood and feel somewhat like the other homes while doing its own thing at the same time. So you see this is a reverse gable that matches the other roof shapes that are in the neighborhood. I wanted the back of the house to have a lot of personality and be super fun. So this is a reverse shed roof line that really reaches up toward the sky. Something that on the front of the house would have felt very different, almost jarring from the neighborhood, which could have been fine if that was my intent. That was not my intent. I wanted to reach to the neighborhood with this addition on the front and the large front porch. Um, and then I wanted to open to a backyard that was more secluded and quiet. I also wanted my living room, which actually is this area, Many of you wouldn't know that. So we're living room here, dining room here. Y'all are in the master bedroom. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so my living room was intentionally adaptable. Uh, there are multiple configurations for these two sofas, which are finally on wheels. They can be in an L-shaped seating group, or they can face each other for a party. They can both turn toward the drop-down screen for a client presentation or a movie night while we fly through a house in 3D. The living room was intentionally adaptable. I didn't want to feel like I was stuck with any furniture arrangement. I wasn't quite to the place I was thinking a lot about how I wanted to feel in the room, but I knew I didn't want to be locked down. So I guess I wanted to feel free. Um, and then what are some other concepts in the house? I wanted it to be free from preconceived notions. There are also hookups there for swings. And the swings are living on the wall over there. So I have playground swings in my house, which is really fun when a kid comes over or when I'm here. <laughs> I wanted my house to be free of preconceived notions. And I wanted when someone walked in the house to feel a sense of openness toward possibilities and not feel like there was a repetition of what they expected. Um, I knew that I was going to live in this house and run my business out of this house. So I wanted it to be in a space that people could come into and we could uh, you know, meet and it could feel professional and interesting and then be able to morph later that day into my house that felt warm and contained. I wanted to have light throughout the house so there are windows surrounding, but I wanted privacy for my neighbors who are rather close. So I have high windows on the sides of the house. Um, there were a lot of thoughts that went into it. And now it would be more difficult to take a step back and think as much as I thought about this house. But I would still do it. Thanks for watching. Hit the button to subscribe, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments, particularly if this video sparked any new thought for you.